The words Ferrari and hatchback aren't two words you'd normally expect to hear in the same sentence. Not unless that sentence was, move your stupid hatchback out the way of my Ferrari. But we might have to get used to hearing those two words together in the same sentence a hell of a lot more often because of this, the company's brand new FF. From the front, it is typical Ferrari. Beautiful, edgy, aggressive, but from the back, well, it's not a shape we normally expect from the Italian company. And that's because it is quite enormous. It is the replacement for the 612 Scaglietti, so it gets four seats. Now, if the first F in the FF name is for four-seater, the second F is for four-wheel drive. That's another first for Ferrari. This car has a very sophisticated 4x4 system that can distribute torque to the front wheels whenever it's required. So you can expect it to crop up on icy mountain roads, going very, very fast. Under the bonnet, there is a massive 6.3 litre V12, chucking out 651 brake horsepower and 504 foot-pounds of torque. That's good for a 0 to 60 time of 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 208 miles per hour. Not bad for a hatchback. Up front, the FF is vaguely reminiscent of the Ferrari 458 Italia. It has the same angular steering wheel, which has the LED rev counter indicators mounted at the top, as well as the legendary Manatino, which allows you to cycle between different performance modes. There's a wet mode, a comfort mode, a sport mode, and of course a death mode, where you turn off the traction control completely. As well as that, you also have, and this is a bit unfortunate, I think, the indicators mounted directly on the steering wheel. In terms of entertainment, you have a nice big touchscreen mounted up on the dashboard. And this, interestingly, has a built-in hard drive for ripping your music directly to the FF. It also has a USB port for connecting your favorite music via a USB key. And again, all the sat-nav information is stored on the built-in hard drive. Interestingly, over here on the passenger side, your passenger can get a taste of the action too. There's a dedicated display which shows exactly what the car is doing. There's a rev counter as well as other information, including your maximum speed, average speed, as well as distance traveled, and all the systems related to the four-wheel drive system. The sound system in this car should be something pretty special too. Ferrari's partnered with Harman to develop a brand new JBL professional quality surround sound audio system in the FF. We haven't heard it for ourselves just yet, but given the amount of hype Ferrari's pouring behind this thing, we expect it to sound something special. Unlike the Scaglietti, which supposedly had four seats, although they were more like shelves, this thing has plenty of space in the back for a fully grown adult. As you can see, I'm pretty tall and I've got plenty of headroom back here. In the boot, meanwhile, you get 450 litres of space, which is plenty of room to do your weekly shopping. So, the two big questions, when and how much? Well, the FF is available in summer 2012, but if you want it, you might have to raid your piggy bank because it will set you back a whopping 260,000 euros. Still, that's the price you pay for quality. I'm Rory Reid, and that's the Ferrari FF.